This is a jaw from the largest living tooth predator on the planet. At five meters long, it's from a sperm whale that was nearly 30 meters in length. The teeth can be 20 centimeters long, and they're all roughly the same in terms of their shape. This makes them perfectly adapted for grabbing and killing. Now, teeth and jaws absolutely fascinate me because they reveal so many of the secrets behind the animal's life and their success. Sperm whales may have a spectacular set of jaws, but there are more than 60,000 species of vertebrate, and each has evolved its own special way of feeding. Jaws first appeared around 420 million years ago. Important tools for catching and consuming food, their shape and size adapted to exploit whatever was available. This evolutionary change can take place surprisingly quickly. And to understand the story of rapid jaw evolution, I need to get an MRI scan of my skull. The information is processed to create a model in plastic. I'm more than a little curious to see what my own skull looks like. I've been working with bones for 20 years, but this is a first. I'm quite shocked. Uh, it's so weird to, to look at your own skull whilst, well, whilst you're still alive, I think, really. <laughs> Even though I study bones, you look in a mirror and you don't see all these little lumps, or this massive brow ridge I apparently have, or this quite large jutting jaw. Weird. I'm taking my skull to Dr. Carolyn Rando, an archaeologist at University College London, who's been conducting some fascinating research into how human jaws are adapting to our ever-changing diet. You've got an impressive array of skulls here, Carolyn. What can they tell us about the evolution of our jaws? Well, what we have here is we have a selection